everybody, it's Kaylin here at Full Purpose and Heart, and today is Wellness Wednesday. We are going to be talking a little bit about staying active and just keeping our bodies moving. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's talk about staying active and the effort that it takes to continue activity. A lot of times there's this buzzword about getting exercise done, especially at the beginning of the new year, whether or not you're going to participate in a new activity or some kind of athletic event. Are you going to register for a race? Are you going to pick up weightlifting or yoga or some group exercise class at your local gym? Maybe you're going to get a gym membership. You know, there's always a funny joke for those who are religious or very um, dedicated, is a better word, dedicated gym attendees that those months of of January and the first couple weeks of February are just a nightmare because it's like, hello, I am here every day and you like resolutioners decide to show up for a couple of weeks and then you drop off the train. Like just be March again so I can have my gym back. Well, no, never fear my friends. There are other opportunities and other options that we have to being active and being healthy. And there are so many great benefits that we receive when we are active. And I'm not talking about going for a run every day or joining the local gym. I'm talking about just getting off of your bottom, off of your couch, off of your chair, and getting some work done. And sometimes it's a little more difficult than others depending on what your stage of life may be. If you work in an office, sometimes sitting at your desk is your job and you have to be there for long periods of time. But we have to be able to think outside the box and start thinking of activities um, that we can participate in that go along with our daily schedule so that we can keep our bodies active. You know, it's kind of just like a momentous thing. If you stop activity, it's really hard to get started. But when you are active, your body has energy, those endorphins are going through your body, you feel good, your body is healthy, and it's overall just an overall good benefit for you, okay? So I wanted to give you a quick example before we do a little activity that will um, kind of help give us ideas of what we can do to be more active in our lives. So the example comes from my sweet mom. She is a fantastic example in so many areas of life. Um, so one day we decided to go to Disneyland and it was me, my older brother, and then my husband and his wife. So, and we're all like in our thirties and we had our kids with us. Some of us, I think we only had one kid. Well, we did for sure only have one kid at the time. And I don't know what number they were on, two or three maybe. But anyway, so we were all at Disneyland playing and I think even my younger sister was there. Anyway, we were all there. So we're all in our like late 20s, early 30s, and we're just hitting Disneyland hard. We get there early in the morning and we're playing and we're, we've got the kids that we're watching and we're switching off babysitting so the adults can ride the adult rides and we're doing the parades. We're doing everything Disney has to offer and it's a wonderful trip. Well, I'm gonna tell you <laughs> that by the time it was like dinner, so what, about seven maybe, so later than the dinner hour, I was beginning to feel, and I was not alone, that like, yeah, I'm pretty worn out. I'm pretty done. I kind of want to go home. Let's just kind of take it easy, stay for the fireworks, and then we'll head home. Okay. My mother, who is 30 years my senior, was like full force, 100% energy to the brim. Like, she is the energizer bunny to like a T. And all of us kids, like in our late 20s, early 30s, were dragging our feet can we be done? I want to go back to the hotel. I want to fall asleep. And here was my 60 something year old mother running up, up and down this main street and the streets of Disneyland, getting on and off the rides. She drug our butts all the way over Disneyland until midnight that night. And we still laugh about it today as siblings thinking what was wrong with us that our 30 year old bodies couldn't do what my mother's six year old body could. Guys, take this story as a lesson that when you are active and you keep your body active, my mom's a great example. She does physical activity every day. She goes for a little jog or a run and she lifts weights and she does squats to keep those legs strong for her so they can lift herself up and out of the chair or whatever. And um, anyway, she's always active. And because of that, she's been doing it her whole life. Because of that, now she's in her 60s and she's traipsing all over the world, going on cruise ships. She just completed a mission in Peru where she had to walk to her from her apartment to her office and back every day. I mean, 
guys, it's fantastic and it's so encouraging and so motivating. So we've got to be active. Take our bodies and do something. And I don't care if where what where you are on the scale. Like, are you in the very beginning? Have you you can't even walk around the block without being exhausted? Or are you kind of at the end where you're like, I'm running pretty much every day, but I'm not enjoying it. I'm just doing it to like say that I'm being active. Like, where are you on the scale? the whatever line, it doesn't matter. Just start where you are and begin to move forward. You know, something that I find really motivating are those little like pedometers or Fitbits or whatever you, you know, brand that you choose to go with. And there are critics in the world who are going to be like, they're not very accurate. I don't care how accurate they are. I am walking more today than I walked yesterday when I didn't wear it. And I'm going to tell you, it's because of that number on my hip. I immediately am thinking, oh, I got to get up to 10,000. And I am taking more steps today than I was before I was wearing that Fitbit. So I don't care how accurate it is. If it's good, if it's bad, it could be 2,000 feet off. I don't care. I am definitely walking more. So the importance of being active will benefit us because it'll give us more energy, it'll make us feel better, and it'll keep our bodies healthy as we age so that we can enjoy our lives as we're older. We can go on walks with the kids. We can take our families to an amusement park or to the zoo or to the park and play with them and be with them and not feel exhausted exhausted. Um, anyway, I have so many other little stories, but I'm going to try to keep this video a little short. So I want to jump into an activity that we can do together so that hopefully it'll kind of spark some contemplation or some ideas that you can do to um, stay motivated and how to be more active. So you're going to need a piece of paper and a pen and um, maybe some stickers if you want to make it look cute, but <laughs> paper and pencil is really all that you need. So let me head over here and we'll, I'll, uh, we'll do this activity. Okay. Okay, so here I just have, this is our, um, just my folder that I use for writing and whatnot. So I want you to take your your um, paper, whatever paper you choose to use, and just to make a line, depending on like how perfect you are, you might want to get a ruler, um, like so. Okay, I make a small column on this side because I'm going to list a bunch of times down here, and then on this side, we're going to write down what we're doing. And then in our third column, we're going to actually write down activities that we can do to be more active. Okay. So let's, um, start my day. My day starts really my day starts at about six o'clock. So we're going to start up here. I try to get out of bed at six o'clock in the morning and I have my morning devotions. So you just write down what activity you do at that particular time. Okay. Seven is breakfast with the kids. Um, this is just kind of like morning routine. By nine o'clock, we're trying to start our school time. Let's see. Uh, my school time goes to 11, so at 12, we have lunch. And then at one is quiet time with for the baby takes a nap, mom gets work done, and my son just kind of reads or plays or whatever he wants to do. And that goes until uh, late afternoon by about three. This is when we run our errands. Up until six is when we have dinner. And then the evening is typically open for, depending on the day of the week, will depend on what we're doing that day. Okay, so this is where you are going to try and fit in some being active, some more active something that you can do, okay? So this is kind of hard, but for me, I'm going to add like, um, maybe I want to add some yoga in my morning devotions. My morning vo devotions are always like really calming and quiet, so I don't want to like put run or do some like really exerted, exerted exercise. Um, another thing that you could do is just like breathing exercises and that sort of thing. Okay. My breakfast time with the kids, I'm going to like start laundry because that's being active, right? Instead of just like sitting there, like playing on my phone or whatever. And then I don't know another one. Okay. So for my school time, this one, I'm actually going to say, I'm going to stand to teach instead of sitting down. Because then that's active, being more active, and I walk around a lot more when I'm actually standing. Um, during my quiet time, I'm actually going to go for a walk on my treadmill while I read my book. 
instead of just like sitting on my bed, which I sometimes do. This is a lot of activity just in general. So I'm just going to just write A-C-T-I-V-I-T-Y. It's hard for me to talk and write. I can barely spell as it is. Anyway, so you get the general idea. You're trying to come up with ways that you can be more active based on the schedule that you're already living and fit in that activity time. Now this activity might be a little bit stretching for you, kind of like it was for me. I feel like my day, I often hear myself say like, I don't have time to exercise because my day is so busy. And maybe you might feel that way too. But if you take do this activity and take some time to actually like write down some ways that you can be more active, whether you go for a walk or you take the dog for an extra lap around the neighborhood. It's super wintry outside where I live right now. So there's not a whole, a whole lot going on outside, but like I said, I can read on my treadmill and go for a walk on the treadmill instead of just like sitting on the couch and watching a show or reading on the couch or whatever. So again, like standing and teaching, I'm, I'm usually walking a lot more and being more active if I do that. Um, an overall thing, maybe you just have like a Fitbit or some kind of like steps tracker or activity tracker that you can wear. That might be one way that you can... Um, be motivated to have more activity. So anyway, just try to be more active guys. Happy Wednesday. Hopefully you feel motivated to be active and to do some additional things of activity. So anyway, have a good one guys. We'll talk to you later.